Functional tics, like other functional movement disorders, happens because the brain isn't working or functioning properly. Normally, your brain doesn't have to think about moving or speaking. It just happens. It's what your brain does automatically without much effort. Think about functional tics like a software glitch that keeps happening over and over in the brain. Once functional tics take hold, there isn't an easy way to stop them. You can't just reach into your brain and fix the glitchy software. You might feel worried, sad, or embarrassed about the tics, and that just makes the glitch worse, and the problem just goes round and round. Even if you're not worried about it, it still can be really frustrating, especially when no one can tell you what's causing it, or if people think you should be able to easily control it, and you can't. It's natural that you might want to look at videos of people your age with tics on social media, but unfortunately looking at someone tic can make you tic more as well. It's a bit like when you see someone else yawning and it makes you want to yawn. People with functional tics can experience these glitches if they've had small tics before or have had mild Tourette's. These tics can also be brought on when they've had a fright or were ill. So now that we know that functional tics are like a glitch in the brain software, head over to our last video to find out how different treatments can help retrain the brain to improve them.